Hi everyone, welcome to this GMAT practice video where we help you to take out a few minutes from your busy schedule and practice mixed problems. Remember, the process or the two steps towards achieving your dream GMAT score are these two which I have listed over here. The first one is structured preparation and the second one is mixed problem solving and in this video we will be solving a few problems so we are focusing on the second part. Let's get started. We will be covering three questions in this video which are of the same type so that yet you get good practice for that type of a question and you will be able to accurately and quickly solve it on the exam and towards the end of the video we will analyze these three questions and take some wisdom and some practical tips practical tips out of them let's get started with the first question so you have the first question on your screen try to solve this on your own and then let's take a look at it together all right we are back I hope you have given it a try and you are able to solve it. Now let's look at the question together. Two gardeners, Alice and Bob, are responsible for watering a large garden. Alice can water the entire garden in 12 hours by herself. One day Alice started wa watering the garden alone and worked for 4 hours. Then Bob joined her and together they finished watering the garden in 6 more hours. If Bob were to water the entire garden alone, how many hours would it take him? So that's the question. So there are two folks over here. We have Alice and Bob. In the question, it's mentioned that Alice could water the entire garden by herself in 12 hours. Now, we need to find out how many hours Bob would take to water the entire garden alone. So that's the question. So Alice can do it in 12 hours. And let's say Bob can do it in B hours. Now, we will solve this question in two ways. First, let's solve it in the traditional way and then let's try to look at how to solve this in a faster way. So, it's given over here that Alice can do the watering of the entire garden by herself in 12 hours. So, in 12 hours, she would do the entire garden. So, in 1 hour, she could do 1 by 12th of the garden, right? So, over here, now some students have this question, why is it 1 over here? Now, we are taking the work of watering the entire garden as one unit of work. Now, if she can do this one piece of work, which is watering the entire garden in 12 hours, then in one hour, she can do 1 by 12th of this garden or she can do, she can water 1 by 12th of the garden, right? Now, again, you can write this as 1 by 12th into G if that's confusing, 1 by 12th of the garden work. But we are just assuming that this is just one. So, this is one unit of work. So, in one hour, she can do 1 by 12. Now, in a similar way, if Bob can water this entire garden or do this one piece of work in B hours, then in one hour, he can do 1 by B of the garden, right? Now, let's proceed. In the question, it's mentioned that Alice worked alone for 4 hours. So, if in one hour, she can do 1 by 12, then in 4 hours, she can do 4 into 1 by 12, right? If one mango costs 10, dollars 4 mangoes would cost 4 into 10 so in a similar manner in 1 hour she can do 1 by 12 so in 4 hours she can do 1 by 12 into 4 or 4 by 12 okay 4 by 12 of the work and we are just taking the work as 1 so she can do 4 by 12 now it goes on to say that they worked together another 6 hours right so 6 hours alice worked and bob worked so in 1 hour if both of them were working together they would do 1 by 12 plus 1 by B, right? So, that would be 1 hour of both of them working together. So, 6 hours of both of them working together would be 6 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by B. Now, it says that after this, the complete work was finished. And remember, we took this as one unit of work, right? So, 4 by 12 plus 6 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by B will be equal to 1. That's the one unit of work. Now, if you took this as 1 by 12 into G, Instead of writing over here 1, you would write G and then you can see that G would cancel out everywhere. So, the easier way is to take G as just one unit of work. So, that's 1 over here and then over here we can just write 4 by 12 and 6 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by B. Now, let's go ahead and solve this. So, we have 4 by 12 plus 6 into 1 by 12 plus 1 by B is equal to 1. Now, we have 4 by 12 over here and when you open the bracket, this part over here will become 6 by 12, right? So, 6 by 12 plus 4 by 12 gives you 10 by 12 and then 6 into 1 by B gives you 6 by B. So, 10 by 12 plus 6 by B is equal to 1. 
now we have 10 by 12 over here and 1 can be written as 12 by 12 so when you take 10 by 12 to the right hand side it becomes 12 by 12 minus 10 by 12 which is 2 by 12 so 6 by b is equal to 2 by 12 and then you can just simplify this right this cancels you get 3 over here and you can take b over here and this 12 to the left hand side so b is equal to 3 into 12 which is equal to 36 and that's your answer so you can see that it's over here as answer option a now let's take a look at a shortcut of solving this i've made some space over here now the shortcut is that if you take a look at alice right she worked initially four hours by herself and then when they worked together also she worked for six hours right so the total number of hours that alice worked is actually four plus six which is ten hours and we know that in one hour alice can do 1 by 12 of the work right so in 10 hours alice would do 10 into 1 by 12 which directly gives us this what we got over here which is 10 by 12 so alice completed 10 by 12 of the work and we know that the work is one unit so the remaining amount of work would be 12 by 12 minus 10 by 12 or 1 minus 10 by 12 which is 2 by 12 so, and that would be the amount of work done by b in six hours we know that bob does 1 by b amount of work in one hour so in six hours bob would do 6 into 1 by b which is 6 by b so with this shortcut you can directly reach to this place right without writing all of these things you can directly write 6 by b is equal to 2 by 12 and you can solve and you will get the answer as option a which is 36 so take a moment now and try to recollect and try to solidify in your mind what we did what we have done over here what this question was about and how we went about solving it all right i hope you've done that now to help you even more solidify your learning and to ensure that if you get a similar question on the gmat you will be able to solve it quickly and accurately let's solve two more similar questions all right so over here we have the next question now take a moment and try to solve this on your own i'm sure you will be able to do this because it's very similar to the previous question all right now i hope that you have given it a try now let's take a look at it together so the question reads in a small coastal town there is a long sea wall that needs to be painted sara a skilled painter can complete the entire sea wall on her own in 15 hours one sunny day she began painting the sea wall by herself and made progress for five hours then a local artist named tom joined her and together they managed to finish painting the sea wall in an additional seven hours if tom were tasked with painting the entire sea wall by himself how many hours would he need to complete the job so that's the question now you can see that this is pretty similar to the previous question so we have two people over here sarah and tom it's given that sarah can complete painting the entire sea wall in 15 hours and let's say tom can do it in t hours and the question is to find this t all right now we know that if Sarah can do it in 15 hours, in one hour she can do 1 by 15 of the work and Tom can do 1 by t because we have taken t as the total number of hours Tom would need. All right, now let's solve this question using the shortcut that we have discussed in the previous question so that you get familiar with that approach. Now over here it's mentioned that initially she painted the sea wall by herself for 5 hours and then 7 hours both of them were working together. Now if you take a look at Sarah's number of hours she was working, so she was working five hours initially and then an additional seven hours. So that's a total of five plus seven, which is 12 hours, which Sarah was working. Now in one hour, she completes one by 15. So in 12 hours, she would do 12 into one by 15, which is 12 by 15, right? So it's the same thing as one mango costs, or uh, let's say $10, then five mangoes cost 10 into $5. So in a similar manner, in one hour she'll do 1 by 15 so in 12 hours she'll do 12 into 1 by 15 which is nothing but 12 by 15 and we know that at the end of this right at the end of these seven hours the complete wall was painted so that's one unit of work right so sarah did 12 by 15 of that one unit now how much is remaining one unit is one and out of that 12 by 15 is done by sarah so one minus 12 by 15 and we know that one can be just written as 15 by 15 so 15 by 15 minus 12 by 15 is nothing but 3 by 15, right? So Tom did 3 by 15 of the work and we know that Tom worked for 
सेवन आवर्स एंड इन वन आवर टॉम डेस वन बाई टी तो इन सेवन आवर्स ही वुड डू सेवन इन टू वन बाई टी राइट तो वी नो दैट थ्री बाई फिफ्टीन विच इज द रिमेनिंग अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क इज इक्वल टू सेवन इन टू वन बाई टी एंड दैट्स इट राइट नाउ यू कैन जस्ट सॉल्व दिस सो दिस सिंप्लीफाइज टू वन बाई फाइव नाउ यू टेक टी ओवर हियर एंड यू टेक द फाइव टू द राइट एंड साइड एंड यू गेट टी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव विच इज योर आंसर टेक अ मोमेंट एंड ट्राई टू सॉलिडिफाई दिस इन योर माइंड ऑल राइट नाउ टू एंश्योर दैट यू आर रियली थारो विद दिस कॉन्सेप्ट लेट सॉल्व वन मोर क्वेश्चन विच इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द टू क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव सीन बिफोर सो गिव इट अ ट्राई एंड देन लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट इट टूगेदर ऑल राइट वी आर बैक आई होप यू हैव गिवन इट अ ट्राई नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट इट टूगेदर टू बेकर्स मारिया एंड जॉन आर प्रिपेयरिंग बैचेस ऑफ कुकीज फॉर अ लार्ज इवेंट Maria can bake all the required cookies by herself in 20 hours. One morning, Maria started baking alone and worked diligently for 6 hours. Then John joined her and together they finished baking all the cookies in 9 more hours. So it's to it took a total of 6 plus 9, 15 hours for the task to get completed. If John were to bake all the required cookies alone, how many hours would it take him? All right, so that's the question. So we have Maria and we have John. It's given that Maria can do the whole job in 20 hours and john let's say would take j hours now we have seen that maria initially worked 6 hours and then she worked 9 hours while they were working together so maria worked total of 6 plus 9 which is equal to 15 hours right now we know that in 1 hour maria would do 1 by 20 of the work so in 15 hours she would do 15 into 1 by 20 right now both of them at the end at the end of these 9 hours right 6 plus 9 hours the job was completed so john did the remaining amount of work which is 1 minus 15 by 20 right so that's how much that's just 5 by 20 because 1 can be written as 20 by 20 now 20 by 20 minus 15 by 20 is nothing but 5 by 20 so john did the remaining work of 5 by 20 in 7 hours we know that in 1 hour john does 1 by j amount of the work so in 7 hours All, all right it's, sorry it's not 7 it's 9 right it's 9 over here so in 9 hours so in the remaining 9 hours he would do 9 into 1 by j right and then you just need to solve this so you get 4 over here and then j is equal to 4 into 9 which is equal to 36 which is the answer which is option b all right i'm sure that you have learned these type of questions very thoroughly over here and you will be able to solve these questions if you get it in the exam now let's quickly analyze the pattern over here So we have two people, and we know that there is a certain task to be completed. And for one person in the question, the total number of hours for doing the task alone is given. All right, let's say that that's x. And in the question, it's also mentioned later um, that um, they together work and alone work. So for some time, this guy works alone, and then for some time, they work together and complete the job. Right. so what are the important things that we can take away from the three questions that we have seen or what are things that students find difficult all right so you can see that information is given as one by one first this piece that this person worked alone for these many hours is given and then another piece of information that they worked together for some amount of time is given so it's important that we synthesize this together and see that actually this person over here was working for x plus y hours so that's one he take away to quickly solve these type of questions and then uh, over here we know that this person over here worked only for y hours and during which they complete the remaining amount so that's something that students find it difficult so that's something important if you take it take this away from this video it will speed up the way you solve these type of questions and also another thing is take the work as one unit rather than taking it as x and then having it on both sides of the equation and at a later point cancelling it out it's makes it it makes it easier if you just take the work to be done as just one unit of work now again see you can do that if some of you find difficulty in this let's say you want to build a house right you can take this as you can measure this in different ways you can take this as one unit one unit is one house being built you can think of it in that way or you can take of it as like in in the in the in terms of days or in different ways right so it's it's totally okay to take completing some task as one unit so that's the unit you define so that makes it easier so take the work or the final work to be done as one unit so in that case it makes the calculation easier right for example if this person can do that one unit in 20 hours 
in one hour that person can do one by 20 of that of one and then you just don't need to write that so that's that's why it makes it easier all the best in your preparation do remember to subscribe uh, to this channel like this video if you liked it and do leave your comments below and let me know if you want more such videos all the best to achieve your dream score, keep practicing, keep learning, you will be there. All the best.